as promised, I'm going to do a quick video of this cooker. I posted this cooker on our Facebook page last night. This cooker is ready to go. Yeah, it, it's ready to get out of here. Uh, I'm not dying to sell it. I'm not, you know, jumping over head and heels to sell it, but I will sell the cooker. Uh, this, this cooker here is a 24 by 50 cabinet model cooker. This cooker, the pipe, all the pipe on this cooker is 3 8 thick. Now when we change to the plate steel right here, it drops to quarter because it's, uh, you know, it's not directly exposed to heat, so this cooker will last forever. This cooker has a removable shelf. This shelf just pops on and off right here like that. Uh, got a little storage area underneath. Got the uh, inch and a quarter drain valve right there. This cooker has a three shelf warmer. Standard warmer's two shelf. This, this cooker been upgraded to a third shelf in the warmer. Uh, come on around here. Uh, you can see the three shelves in the warmer right here. They all, all slide out right here. Uh, got the standard charcoal pan right here that you can put charcoal in where you can direct cook in this cooker. This cooker has both damper systems, one from the main chamber right here, one from the uh, warmer. So you can essentially cook in all places at one time. Has the uh, heavy duty fire basket right here to come out locked. They have a have a uh, crisscross pattern in them where you can, uh, your charcoal and stuff, if you're using charcoal, some, you know, predominantly a stick burner, but uh, basically where your coals will have a longer coal bed right here. But uh, anyway, has all stainless coop touch handles on this cooker. Uh, we never have a cooker. Generally, there's a big backlog. It has probe inserts right here, probe inserts right here. Uh, for your pros, uh, it'll have a fire poker with it. The doors have gaskets on them. This thing's gonna seal off tight. And uh, we never put gaskets on the vertical side of this cooker because it's gonna seal already in a pinch and the doors will close. So down the hard long side, I had a gasket right here too yesterday. Just It's, it's gonna be really sealed really, really tight. The drains come out and lock. Uh, it's great. It's, it's one of our most popular cookers. This cooker here is a cooking machine. I'll tell you, it is. Has eight inch trailer tires on the back. Those aren't little cheap pneumatics. It's got real good pneumatic tires up front uh, that swivel. So, uh, it's got an axle back there that I made. Uh, the, the, the firebox and warmer are quarter inch thick. Uh, this cooker seals really tight. It's tight. But easy to roll around, it's heavy. This cooker probably weighs about 1,100 pounds. But it's easy to roll, it's, it's just a great cooker. I've taken several of these cookers, a few that people have brought back and wanted to convert onto a trailer, and I did that for them. And uh, so it could easily one day be converted to a trailer model, no problem. It, just cut the legs off, I can rebuild the trailer. When you bring it back to me, you just, uh, hey, I'll slap it on in three hours, you're gone. But again, this, this is just a fantastic cooker. This cooker here holds, holds you know, around 18 bucks, 16 bucks in the main chamber, somewhere around in there. Uh, I have had guys get more in there, depending on what you want. Plus, they put them in the warmer. Ron Vassar out of Georgia had 31 butts in this cooker right here, I'm telling you. 31 butts in this cooker and in the warmer. And uh, it's on the, you can go to the barbecue brethren and see it on the thread. But, uh, Anyway, it's just a great cooker. I just wanted to do a quick video. Never have cookers like this. I'm gonna tell you what happened. A guy had ordered a cooker uh, just like this, but he had, he had somewhere in the email, my fault, he went to a uh, elevated cabinet model. This is just our standard cabinet model, which is uh, 21 inches tall. You got, if you look at the distance, you got in the grates right here between the grates. That's a lot of cooking room. I mean, seriously, that is a lot, lot, lot of cooking room. Just, just a lot. I mean, you can stand up, shank, porch, and hams on either right. So, uh, it's just a lot of room out there. Uh, I need to tighten that boat. Anyway, it's for sale. I put it on the uh, on the uh, Facebook page last night. It'll probably go on the website page today on our website page with a video and in another place. Had several inquired. Got up this morning. Had about six emails. Uh, it's not going to last long. And, and again, I'm not you know, gonna give it away either. I'll put it on my, under my carport. <laughs> my wife's trying to talk me into keeping it because we don't have one. I've got one that I'm gonna be starting on for me, but I may, I may keep it if it don't sell a lot.
in the next day or so, I may just keep the thing, and then I'll have something to cook on too. But uh, anyway, just give me a call at 310-205-3160. As everybody knows, Tyler has a huge backlog, so this is available. And any of his customers that's got anything like this order, it's fine. He said, tell them to come get it. So that's another option. I don't know who, who they are, but uh, anyway, again, you can give me a call or email me at paul at shirleyfabrication.com.